Oh. He's gone for it and a terrific pot. Oh, can see he was tight up. Yeah. The shot clock would have ruined the moment there and it made it all the more special. What a great shot. Four. I assume the black goes. Drop it in and be on the black, so this is the alternative. No. But uh, we were saying what was going to be his response to losing the first two frames. 15. <coughs> Once he clears that out of the way, the black is available into both corners. So immediately on that. 23 31 Is it three red three blacks will not be enough 39 should be going into them now, trying to... I thought he would screw into them and with the backspin hold day up the top part of the table. 47. Looks to have an angle to go off the side cushion. Mm. Well, there Neil you Robinson, go. 47. I honestly think the Reds, what, why play for the pink as he did? What? And leave himself hampered. He's left himself all ten times screwing into the pack off the black. He would have got a good percent precise. Nine. Of course, the big problem, Bob. Well, there's a notion and a cross to disturb the four reds. Has he? No, he's missed the line. When the pink didn't spot, he might have felt he didn't need to go into the pack. But that's a great shot from Judd Trump. <laughs> Can Judd Trump somehow push it past the middle pocket? Six. Well, I think it now. So the red on the left hand side cushion. No. Get the red off the cushion. It's not guaranteed to stick it up. Needs an angle on 16. yellow or brown, which is guaranteed it to stay over the middle. Well, he's nudged it, and absolutely, not this would be. Your Trump, 18. Mm. Chance for Robertson. Oh, yes, and right in the heart of the pocket. And as I said, with that gap that you have had, he was always a team. Robertson, that type of long pot, he invariably knocks oh. them in. OK, he's not been doing so far in this match, but that wasn't going to... Just yellow and green needed to get his first frame on the board. Seven. Played a lot better this frame, but the chance of... Get him back into it. Ten. Fourteen. The next frame will be the 19. one before the mid-session interval, so importance. Twenty-five on the frame. And Neil Robinson knocks it in, so do shot. Right away, if he gets right on the red. Seven. Great shot to get correct side of the blue.
13. Didn't waste much time in getting that black back into open play. Didn't like the contact 21. there. 21. So he didn't hit it with too much pace. Is he on the red? Oh, well played. Good shot there to force that angle. Come round. Thirty-seven. Oh, and he was, and it worked out absolutely perfect. Well, I'll be amazed now if we're not going into that mid-session. Oh, this is so impressive from 2 0 down. Fifty two. Nice angle on a colour to bring Reds into play. Sixty. He needs into the left middle. Should that be the choice? That's what he's played. On the Sixty-eight. Cool as a whistle. Rather than later. So portable. With good thoughts to take from those first, these first four frames. Seventy-six. I suppose Steve Judd would be the more disappointed having held it. Feeling like... More like he's Superman, that he's never going to be... 84. ...taken apart, that he's... Champion of Champions, the UK Championship. And he's such a beautiful cueist. And... Pot proved to... ...to claw his way back into this match. Right. <laughs> the first red, but it didn't stop him getting to the pot in our centre. We've already seen one in the second frame from a big break here. If he pots the blue, there's a possible 140 on. And as I said earlier, not often these days, the high break is 98 by the end of the tournament. Less than 140. But obviously less matches in the Masters than most. One hundred and four. That was the 15th centre. This is the 15th centre of the Twack and the six remaining colours for a one three nine. One hundred twelve. One hundred fourteen. One hundred seventeen. Well, Stephen Hendry in the studio table. He's strutting round it now. This has been a marvellous break. But wrong. And this black. 132. And the high break, £10,000. And that's it, a 139.